Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's January 22nd, uh, 2021. Or j maybe January 21st. I don't know. Something like that. Um, anyway, doesn't really make much of a difference because I told you days to take just made up numbers as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's cold now. That's how really how we should mark it. It's cold now. Uh, now it's hot. You know? <laughs> anyway. When you unravel everything in Flat Earth, it, it, everything is a fucking joke. Politics? Why haven't I even spoken about politics? Yeah, I would love to bust out and say something, but it's, it's a soap opera. That's all it is. It's two people fighting against each other. It's, it's almost like... It's almost like... Um, You know, they're puppets, okay? Puppets to who? Uh, they're puppets to people that are running this entire world. All right, maybe this is what they're doing in their world. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the higher-ups, okay? The small group of people that are... that Money doesn't mean anything to them at this point because that's not their trouble. That's not their problem. Their problem is controlling us, okay? And that's what they have to do. They've got to control us. And we have been controlled forever. All right? Let's go back to the 1800s, before we even knew about Flat Earth. Um, before this was evident to anybody at all. They had hours that we worked. Days that we worked. All right? We had Monday through Friday. You would work five hours, eight hours a day. Sunday would come, come along... Some people would work on Sundays. Some people would work on Saturdays. And usually people like that are craftsmen, plumbers, shit like that, you know. Those are the type of people that would, that would work on those days. But anyway, that's not where I'm going with this. I'm just saying this has been going on forever. All right, so the people with the power who are running this world, whether they were aware of Flat Earth or not, it really doesn't make a difference. They were always there to control us. Okay, which means there was always a controller. Flat Earth didn't bring a controller. What, excuse me. It, what Flat Earth actually has brought is a world falling apart right now. Okay, and they've got to they've got to bring down the hammer at some point. They've got to tell people something. It's it's getting out. The word's getting out. It's it's it's. It's, it's obvious now, you know, more and more people are, are, are seeing Flat Earth, okay? And for the people that are just dead inside, you know, that's fine. They'll have to figure it out themselves if they ever do. And the only way they're going to be able to figure it out is if somebody that they like says it to them. For example, the news, which will never happen. <laughs> Maybe it will, I don't know, we'll see. A famous actor or actress, a sports figure. Somebody like that. You see, but they also need pictures. <laughs> They're going to say, well, where are the pictures? I don't see any pictures of Flat Earth. You don't even see pictures of this so-called bullshit fucking planet you live on. <laughs> but that's what they base their truth on. Our photographs, which really are drawings, which we all know. It's, it's, it amuses me. All right, a couple of observations I want you to make while you're out on the road driving around, hopefully watching one of my videos or maybe somebody else's videos on Flat Earth to educate yourself because that's the only place you're going to get education from. You're certainly not going to find it in the library anywhere or anywhere else. You're going to have to do your research online, my friends. That is the only way to get information. If you're smart enough and you come across some intelligent videos, maybe, just maybe, you might be able to pick something up and question exactly what you live on here. That you feel no movement at all. That it's stationary. That you're in a container. See, that's the only way you can get air pressure, is in a container. You can't form air pressure with an invisible barrier. If you had an invisible barrier up there and there was a bleeding part of space that begins and 
there'd be no atmosphere on this so-called planet people think that they live on. Or, well, they, no, let me, let me, well, they think they live on this, but they've been told that they live on this. And they haven't had enough sense to go and do their research and research it and use their own perspective. God gave you those perspectives. That would be perspective of movement. Okay? There is absolutely no movement at all. If there were, every every single person out there of motion sickness would be, it'd be puke all over the place. <laughs> it'd be spitting off the earth. <laughs> it's funny, it amuses me. Just like these face ma these masks. I just, just call them masks from now on, all right? That's all they are. That's all they are to me. It, mask. It, it, there's, there's, there's no making sense to a mask. Okay, a mask is somebody who's lost, you know, and, and, and they feel like they, they need a, a little teddy bear. This is like their teddy bear, kind of. Don't worry. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um... See, I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay, back to what I was thinking about, my driving. Okay, I want you to look at the plates. Quump, these politicians who are just like, I don't know how the hell they got elected. It's even more, well, they don't get elected. As I always said, they get chosen. But I guess they, see, in, in New York State, we have the worst politicians, probably throughout the entire country. But I could very well be wrong. I don't know what goes on in different states. I don't follow politics. And I, I don't even follow it here in my state, and especially in another state. But I bet, I bet if you look back, you probably have the politicians that are the worst you've ever had in the last five years. Because they've been placed there. Because they knew all of this was going to happen. And they needed these people there. Okay, for a specific reason. And I bet every state throughout the entire country is exactly the same way. I've watched California basically just fall apart. Fall apart. You know, California's a mess. San Francisco, I heard, is a disaster area. There are uh, needles all over the, the city. Bums are all over the city. Well, I got the news for you now. New York City, NYC is just like that. Uh, I, the bums all over the place. There are probably needles all over the place, too. It's disgusting. It's filthy. Crime is up 200%, and it's going to continue staying like that. But you remember, not, not a single politician has actually given us any hope. This is how we're going to clean up the city. Not one of them has, has given us. Even the egghead right now that's in there. Hey, he hasn't mentioned a thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the first fucking thing that you would mention if you got elected to become president? That you would come up with some sort of plan to clean up New York City? Wouldn't that, like, be number one on the list? And number two, jobs? You know, none of that was mentioned unity. That's what we need. We need to all be together as one. Kumbaya, my lord, oh kumbaya. I love, they should have played that song in the background. A little kumbaya, my lord. That would have just summed it up. Just great. <laughs> oh man, it's, it, it, it's, it gets better. <laughs> I promise you, it will get better and better more and more material for everybody to use. Uh, what is this genius doing? Oh, you missed the exit. That's, well, should have thought about that before you left the island that you had to take a piss. Anyway. Okay, so this is what I've noticed on the road. So the politicians have changed the plates in New York State. In the last, I don't know, five years, we have three different sets of plates. One would be my plate with the curve on it that says Empire City. The next would be the flat, straight line that's up on the top. That's a white plate. I have the yellow plate. And then they came out with just recently another plate. Excelsior is on it. There's no more Empire State anymore. It says Excelsior. That makes no sense at all to me. And that's just a regular white plate with nothing on it. It looks horrible. It's, it's I, I really an offense to all New Yorkers as far as I'm concerned, that that is now our plate. It, it just looks horrible. Anyway, so there's like three different plates. So you can tell the cars that are on the road, the new cars that were just purchased, 
and have the white plate on it if you're going to register the vehicle. And the other ones that are leased and, and maybe someone's had them for 10 years have the other yellow plate that I have on my car. Um, what I've been noticing is there's been a lot, a major, major, and there's another one right there, increase of white plates in New York. Now you're going to say, well, that doesn't seem very suspicious. That's silly. Why would you even observe that? Well, you see, the problem is these white plates are on vehicles that are not brand new. These are on vehicles that are banged up. The lights broken on the car, the freaking tinted windows. They can't possibly pass the registration with the illegal muffler system that's on their vehicle. And they, they almost, especially with the tint, they're all blacked out. Everything's blacked out on it. But they have New York State plates on it that are brand new. Okay. So my question is, who would buy a car like this? You know, on this highway, people do not know how to merge on the highway. They, they just throw themselves right out there. You know, it's great. It's like they want, they want an accident. And they're the worst drivers, too, these people with the white plates on there. The brand new plates that have just been issued through New York State. And this was probably just been issued in the last, I don't know, I would say three or four months now. They initially gave them, well, I, I'm talking about Jersey, too. And that's something I want you to observe. Um, so, I, I, there could, there is definitely some tie to it. Because they're very aggressive drivers. They're driving around in old Nissan Ultimate, which is basically a Datsun. Remember Datsun? Well, uh, Nissan took over Datsun many, many years ago. Um, they were the shittiest cars in the world. But anyway, so a lot of old cars like the, the Nissan Ultima and, and piece of shit fucking Hondas that are like 15 years old that are all souped up to the nut. Looks like somebody just driven driven them down a, a, a cliff. Uh, you know, I, it looks like it just came right out of a war zone, for Christ's sake. Anyway, and they have the new plates on them. So I want you to observe this, okay? And you see how aggressive they're driving. And these are not 19-year-old kids that are driving these cars, you know? And they're definitely not from this country. It's a mix of all races, not one in particular. But it, it, it really, it, it, it amazes me that people don't see this. Jersey, okay, Jersey has these paper plates. They're white paper plates. Our issue, I don't know, I, I think it might be through Carfax, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a couple of used car dealers out there now that you could actually purchase a car, and I've seen them on, uh, uh, on tow trucks, and they have their own special car, and they literally, you buy the car, you pick the car, and they drive it up to your house, but they're these old shitty Hondas and, and Ultimas and, and, and like, oh, it's a lot of the foreign cars, Mercedes, BMW, a lot of BMWs, but all 20-year-old cars and all beat up and shitty looking. You'd never want to own a car like that. Plus the fact you, I mean, and, and, and I see a lot of them totaled on the record too with, with the new plates on them. So there's a connection with this. We, the higher up are paying people to be aggressive driving, uh, aggressive drivers on the road, causing accidents. You know, I've never heard so many accidents before in my life. I've never seen so many, so many aggressive drivers on the road just within the last 10 years. Okay, and that tells you something, especially on the Springbrook Parkway. I know a lot of people use that as a, a raceway anyway to begin with, but not this bad. This is daily. Every fucking morning I see people go, ripping up there in rush hour traffic, doing 110 miles per hour, whipping in and out of traffic, and they don't give a shit about you. If you get in front of them, they'll just knock right into you. They can care less. So they're on a death wish, and I don't think they're on drugs at 7 o'clock in the morning, or I could be wrong. Maybe I am. I don't know. Anyway. So I figured I'd just I, I'd leave that with you, something to think about on a Friday. I know I haven't done that with you a lot at all because things have been all over the place with me. And, and that'll change. Now that I'm getting my new equipment, uh, that new equipment should be arriving shortly. It's being sent through FedEx, I think. I don't know who's sending it. But um, anyway, that doesn't make a difference. And once I get used to it, I'll be able to give you videos and, and, and show you what, what I see and, and true videos of things. And I'm not saying... All the videos out there of, of the 1,000 videos that are being recorded aren't real. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure most of them are, but I know some people are fucking with them, especially when they're taking pictures of those stars. Okay? Um, anyway, but I want you to, to see this, and I can't wait. <laughs> and I've got a beautiful place for it. 
to do my very first one. I'll have to do it on my day off because I'd like to do it right when it either the sun goes away or when it comes toward us. Now, I'm going to need to know some equipment that I need to get some other equipment apart from tripods and all that shit. But I want to know if anybody out there knows if there is a filter that I could use to take with the sun that's not completely blacked out. I don't think there is. But if there is, let me know and I might invest in it. Okay? But I don't think there is an actual thing out there that exists that a conventional person going out to purchase it could actually purchase something like that. I think that's only something that NASA has, you know, because they show you these wonderful pictures of the sun, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful with a great ball and the fire coming out and, and all the plasma? It's unbelievable. It is, because it's not true. All of it's not true. Space doesn't exist. There is no space. And I'm sorry to tell you that. It sucks. Star Trek will never be. Star Wars will never be. Mars will never be either. So, nighty night. I hope you have a good nap. If you think you're going to Mars. Don't worry, though. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You'll get over it. it took me a while, but don't worry. You'll get over it. You'll understand that everything is fake up there. Once you do... You've woken up. Welcome. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos and let me be a part of your life.